Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth here from ByMeganElizabeth.com and She Makes Club. And I wanted to show you a album. This is a six by eight album, a uh, craft album with a, a black spine. And I put some page inserts in here. And I'm giving one of these to my nephew and my stepson um, for Christmas. They're both um, really into hunting now and they've been doing a lot more and I wanted to have a place for them to kind of have their own hunter's journal and adventure um, book that they can do. So I um, created something in my Cricut Design Space this afternoon that I thought would be really fun to show you guys just how I'm going to do it. And I'm using my Easy Press um, and heat transfer vinyl because I just feel like it's one of the easiest ways and I wanted to show you how you can do that on a carb on an album cover as well and even it being paper on paper or vinyl on paper um so i'm going to go to my safe projects and it's just called hunting adventures and i like i said i already pre-made it with their names so i'm just going to make it um they both fit on 112 by 12 sheet i already pre-measured them to go in this um front area so they're about seven and a half inches no about eight inches tall um like five and a half inches wide is about what they are. So I'm just going to click on the continue button and wait for my iPad to sync up with my Cricut Maker. And while that's happening, I'm gonna grab my light grip mat. I'm just gonna select my maker. And I'm just gonna use black HTV heat transfer vinyl. This is actually from Cricut. I'm gonna make sure my shiny side, shiny side, the shiny side is facing down on my mat. And my light grip is really starting to lose its grip, so I might put just a small piece of tape on each end to keep it from rolling, but actually I think it's gonna be okay. A little pressing down will be fine. Okay, I wanna make sure that for this, since this is HTV, I'm going to turn my mirror on so it's going to cut everything backwards for me. And then I'm gonna come down to my everyday iron on as my setting. It is on default. I am going to leave it on the default. Um, again, my mirror is on, so I'm good with that. And now once all that's done, you can see I, it's prompting me to load my mat. So real quick, just gonna slide that on in there. Ready to go once that starts blinking it means we can go and I can do it in fast mode but because it's um the vinyl I just like to keep it on its regular speed I don't need to rush it now while that's while that's cutting out I'm gonna grab my Cricut Easy Press and I'm gonna get it preheated a while to 350 degrees it's quite the mess on my scrapbook table today there's been a Unload that. And just push this back here. I mean, my Cricut is all heated up. Easy press. In. So now what I have to do is weed this out. But before I do that, I'm going to actually, actually, can I grab that tape paper trimmer for you, babe? I'm going to trim off this bottom so I don't have quite so much to weed and I have a nice size strip here to still be able to utilize in another project later. So that I will save. I'm not gonna bother saving everything in the center here but I will cut this in half so I have both ready to go for me. Make sure I got everything. Grab my album. And then what I'm gonna do is actually open up the spine. And position it in the front and center the way I want it to be. 
and it doesn't lay totally flat and that's fine. I don't need it to be completely flat. But the thing that I do need to pay attention to is setting down my easy press that it's straight down and I lift it straight up that I'm not seesawing or gliding it around. I want it to be very still so that the adhesive kind of doesn't shadow out and melt out the sides. I want it to stay where it is. Um, especially when it's on paper or wood, you need to be extra careful to place it straight down and lift it straight up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. 30 seconds. I know I'm doing it kind of upside down, but either way, it doesn't matter. I don't need the numbers facing me to see that it's set correctly. Now straight up lift. Now with doing this, what you might notice and find is some of the letters may not fully be stuck all the way down. While it's still warm, I like to kind of grab something and press these letters down a little bit while it's still cooling. Don't burn your fingers, use a tool of some sort. You can use a brayer or a roller or any kind of squeegee. Okay, that'll just help it melt in a little bit more. Kind of quickly and smooth it down as I go. regular vinyl as well, but I'm just loving the black matte finish of this. Um, plus, I don't have to worry with transfer tape <coughs> or lining up the letters correctly. I can just cut it, weed it, and press it without any hassle. And it just looks beautiful in my opinion. So um, that's book one. Let me do the second one real quick. I just have to weed it out. I'm gonna grab my heating protective mat this time because I could feel my table getting a little bit warm. Again, while it's still hot, I'm just sort of pressing down all the letters to melt it into the, and then carefully Move. And then, all right. And that is how easily you can customize your craft albums, which is really cool because you can think about doing other designs, not just for a hunting book, but the kids' names, special birthdays or events or encouragements or going off to college or a wedding or whatever. And you can really just elevate the level of customization and fun with your Cricut and your HTV in no time at all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love for you to leave me a comment, feedback, like, share, ask questions. Um, please subscribe. I would love to have you be a regular follower of By Megan Elizabeth and Above Ruby Studio and come make with us more inside our exclusive Crafters Club, She Makes. And um, you can visit that now at shemakes.club. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.